folks, the picture you see um, in front of you is a picture of Jeff Eisman. He is the Republican chairman for the um, Republican Party in the state of Montana. This guy has basically let white people know that they are just as much a target for voter suppression as minorities are in North Carolina, Texas, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Ohio, etc., 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 okay? Now, the reason I say that is because he recently issued an email out to the uh, Republican electorate in the state of Montana. And the reason for the email was because there is going to be a vote in the state of Montana to replace Ryan Zinke, who is the only House of Representative uh, member from the state of Montana due to its sparse population. Now, Mr. Eisman is going against a member of the Montana legislature. And let me give you the details. There is going to have to be a special election for the replacement for House of Representative member Zinke. And that election is probably going to be held somewhere around May or June. Now, Montana is not the richest state in the union, and they've already uh, incurred a lot of uh, election expense because Montana has a law that anytime there's an election, the ballot must be completely accurate. And they had to go to a lot of expense recently because one of the uh, people that was running for statewide office in Montana died. And because he died, obviously he couldn't be elected to office. So they had to scrap all the ballots that they had uh, created in order to correct them. That's a state law. So they expended a million dollars more uh, than um, they normally would have, which basically took their budget down to damn near nothing. It was unexpected that they would have to run another special election. So what did the uh, Republican legislature uh, decide they wanted to do? They decided that they wanted to have a an election by mail-in ballot, which would save them a ton of money. When that particular measure was brought uh, to their floor, this gentleman, Mr. Eisman, saw that it was going to be a problem for Republicans. And he specifically warned the Republicans that a mail-in election would give the Democrats an inherent advantage in close elections due to their ability to organize large numbers of unpaid college students and members of public employee unions to gather ballots by going door to door. So he issued uh, that particular email. Now what that sounds like to me is he's not interested in a free and fair election where you have as many people as possible participating. No, what he wants to do is to try to keep the numbers down as low as possible, which would in effect give the Republicans a leg up because apparently they had done studies uh, on the uh, voter participation in the state of Montana and they've had uh, mail-in uh, elections for various things uh, before 
and they found out that when there are mail-in uh, ballots, mail-in elections, that the uh, Democrats participate at a significantly higher rate, but that when there are actual uh, warm body walk in and cast your ballot elections, that the Democrats are not as uh, likely to participate. So now you tell me, if you just go by the letter of the law and this guy gets his way, is that actually voter suppression? No, it's not, because every person still would have the right to walk into their local polling place and cast a ballot. But if there is an avenue to generate more participation and be cost effective, i.e. spending less money than an actual polling place election, it seems to me that Republicans being the uh, thrifty a dollar conscious uh, group that they are would want to have more people participating at a lower cost. But this is not about cost. This is about power. And Mr. Eisman is determined, if possible, to maintain the power of the Republican Party in the state of Montana. Now, he's at somewhat of a slight disadvantage because of actions that the Republicans attempted or considered taking, i.e., they wanted to take 10,000 acres of public land and sell it in the state of Montana. And the people of Montana went berserk on this to the point that uh, that particular action was uh, taken off the books. It wasn't even uh, brought up uh, for a vote. So that pissed off not only uh, the uh, Democrats, I'm assuming, in the state, but it pissed off the Republicans and the independents as well. Because if there's one thing that will unite people in Montana, it's the love of public land and their abilities to go out, hunt, fish and uh, perform other outdoor activities on land that belongs to every single one of them. And if that land were to be sold, well, you know, private investors, you know, they have their own way of looking at the uh, land usage. So there are a lot of people that are mobilized at the present time. And I believe if State Senate Bill 503, which has been submitted and would require a mail ballot election, were passed, Mr. Eisman would be more than a bit upset and more than likely, given all the things that are going on in Washington at the present time, a Republican candidate would absolutely uh, have a problem um, in trying to win that particular election. But again, just another instance of, in my opinion, attempted de facto, if not de jure, voter suppression. And this time, it doesn't involve uh, black people or uh, minorities because the population of the state of Montana is 89% white, with 6% uh, being uh, Native American. So right there you have 95% of the electorate. The other two obviously are uh, Hispanics, blacks are less than 1%, um, and then you have uh, multi-racial uh, people that basically make up the difference. Just, uh, just some information, some food for thought.